Bud is. Oh, hiya, Jim. Hi. Well, look, we still have a few minutes before we go on the air. I'd like to tell you about the time that Eleanor and I went down oh, to the... Oh, let's mm -hmm. save the talk. Can't we agree that capitalism is an economic system? A system for the production and distribution of things we need and want? I won't agree to that. Not until you say something about government, too. There has to be a legal basis for any economic system to operate. Well, it's easy to see that you have different ideas of what capitalism is. Maybe we should talk about what it is not. It is not a system of strict governmental control and planning in which a dictator or board tells people what jobs they may hold and, and what goods they may produce. And it's not a system of government ownership. Let me tell you about something. It shows that the basis of the capitalistic system is private property. It happened when Eleanor and I went down to get the things for the class weenie roast. We went to Mr. Brown's store. Well, that's what I mean. Mr. Brown really owns property. All those store fixtures and the groceries in there, and, well, the whole store. It's his property, and he can do almost anything with it that he likes. We needed weenies. Mr. Brown had weenies. It's as simple as that. You might argue about his prices. Anyway, Eleanor did. But after all, he has a right to earn something for the goods and services he supplies. And he does supply services as well as goods. When we agreed to buy everything from him, weenies, buns, marshmallows, and charcoal, he agreed to give us extra service, deliver everything in his truck. And since we didn't have enough cars, he agreed to make another trip and take a lot of the kids out to the picnic. And he could help us that way because the truck is his private property. And he can do just about anything with it that he wants. That's how a capitalistic system operates. The people own property and use it to provide the goods and services that all of us need. That's what I mean about government. Mr. Brown's very right to own property is guaranteed by our Constitution. Yes, but... Well, Bill's missed the whole point to what happened at Mr. Brown's store. And Mr. Brown has property, all right, but that's not what he's interested in. And he does help supply us with things we want. But that's not why he's in business. He's in business to make money. There's the basis of the capitalistic system, the profit motive. He may give service when he has to, to make a profit. Well, when I complained that his prices were too high, he could see those profits going right out the window if we didn't buy from him. So naturally, he offered to help us out with his truck, so he could make a sale and a profit. And just think of all the others who made a profit on those weenies. Cattle growers, meat packers, shippers, distributors, they're all in business to make profit. Of course they make a profit, and it's a good thing. That's the incentive that makes capitalism work, to give us more of the things that we need. That's the incentive that other economic systems lack. I think you've both missed the point. It's competition. That's why Mr. Brown offered his truck. He wanted to make sure you'd buy from him and not from a competitor. And why was he free to make that offer? Freedom of contract. You and Mr. Brown entered into a contract, an agreement. You agreed to buy what you needed from him. He agreed to let you use the truck. In the same way, he got the weenies by entering into a contract with the wholesaler. And he got the truck by entering into a contract with someone else. Under a capitalistic system, you're free to make almost any kind of a contract with anyone. Freedom of contract. Competition, profit motive, private property. And what do they all add up to? Free enterprise. Well, that's what capitalism is. A system of free enterprise. Well, now tell us what free enterprise means. All right. It means that you can go into business wherever and however you please. Anybody can go into any business. Any legal business, that is. But I still say you can't leave government out of the discussion. Government must at least guarantee the right of private property and freedom of contract in order that... Quiet, you please, everybody. We're on the air in a few seconds. Good afternoon. This is Ray Bennett, acting as moderator for the Western High School Radio Forum. Our topic today, what is capitalism? We hear capitalism, capitalistic system, on every hand. 
on the radio, in newspapers, magazines, books, in lectures and daily conversation. But just what is capitalism? To start our forum, we will present a few candid interviews, recorded remarks of representative citizens of our town who were asked for their opinions about our capitalistic system. Capitalism? Well, why should there be any question about it? Hasn't it given us the highest standard of living in the world? We don't have free enterprise, just bureaucratic red tape. The government ought to keep its hands off business. Freedom of contract? Don't know about that. We've got the union and seniority. I make a living. I should worry. Where's all this competition we've heard so much about? You call these prices low? Well, perhaps the regular I'm glad I can work for myself. With capitalism, you, you take your choice. It seems that capitalism means different things to different people. Let's hear now from our town treasurer, Mr. John Howard. We say we live in a capitalistic society. What does that mean? Well, we can point to certain fundamental ideas which we say are part of a capitalistic system. For example, private property. Individuals or corporations may own land, natural resources, buildings of all kinds, machinery and equipment for the production of goods, facilities for the transportation of goods, and the goods themselves. In a capitalistic system, these are usually private property. Another idea fundamental to capitalism is the profit motive. For the sake of profit, we cultivate the land. We build great factories to produce goods. We sell for profit. The goods thus produced, we transport over large distances, still for the sake of profit. Those who have savings often invest or lend them, hoping for a share of profit. And in so doing, help to build the industrial might of the nation. Some other ideas are basic to capitalism. Competition, freedom of contract, free enterprise. What do they mean? Could these rights exist without laws that define and protect them? Do just these few things make up a capitalistic system? Or should something more be said? Perhaps your forum will have some of the answers. There is more to be said, Mr. Howard. A great deal more. That's why we're holding this forum. Now it's up to you. Listen, consider, discuss. This is your forum. What is capitalism? Thank you.